What's up guys? Today I want to go over the crafter. Um, the crafter was a new block that was added in uh, at least Java edition 1.21. Um, it essentially allows you to automatically craft items using a redstone signal. Um, so here I've put in ingredients for a redstone repeater just like you would in a normal crafting table and I can press the button on the side and it will spit out a repeater. Um, it will of course use the ingredients as I do that but it makes it where you can automate crafting things. The crafter allows you to put a hopper on the top of it in order to automatically feed items into the ingredients section here. Um, so if I put a hopper here and put in, let's say, redstone torches, um, we can see that it'll start putting them into different slots, including the slots that aren't being, uh, aren't being used. Um, if you want to stop the slots from being used, you can left click on them and you will disable the slots. Um, so now if I put the torches back in here, they will go into their respective slots here uh, that are already populated. Um, this is particularly useful because you can automatically put the ingredients in and then you can have them automatically get uh, crafted by the crafter. Um, just as you can take ingredients in, you can uh, or put ingredients in, you can take ingredients out. Because it spits it out, you have to put a hopper like next to it. Um, and I usually put just like some blocks around it so that it doesn't uh, fly off too far. In this case, I can hit the button and it will automatically go into the hopper, which then you can feed into a chest or something. Um, so in this case, you can automatically have it put in and take out the crafting recipe. The redstone signal that goes into the crafter operates a lot like a dispenser or a dropper would, um, in that if you turn it if, if you turn it on, it'll only craft one item no matter how long the signal is on for. Um, so like if I were to replace this with a lever. It'll craft one when I initially turn it on, but it does not keep crafting it. You have to turn it off and turn it back on again for it to craft another item. Um, this can be uh, mitigated by just making a clock that can uh, turn it off and on constantly. Um, I think the clock signal has to be faster than or slower than one tick. Um, otherwise, it won't work. I'm not exactly sure about that, though. We can try it, I guess. Try it real fast. If I do this. Yeah. So the clock has to be faster than one tick. Um, you can make it two ticks or whatever, or else it just simply will not get the memo. Um, you want to be careful with this, though, because if I, for example, uh, put a lever here, and then I only have one, like, torch in here, it will craft the last one. Um, but the hopper, like, say I have a hopper up here, the hopper is not smart enough to um, know where to put the items. So if I put redstone in here, it will put the redstone in the slot that's not... Um, that's not for redstone because we want a redstone torch there and it won't do that. So you want to be careful with making an indefinite timer. The contents of the crafter can be read using a comparator, um, just like most containers. Um, if you don't know how to do that, you can essentially have a comparator facing away from the block and either be right next to it or you can have an opaque block in between the comparator and the item that you're reading. Um, and don't have it in subtract mode. Uh, the torch in the front should be off. And the way the crafter is read um, is it will read a signal based on the number of slots occupied, not like weighted by how many items are, there are in there. So if I had 64 items in each one of these slots, the signal would be the same as if I only had one item in all these slots. Um, like, for example, the red snow signal goes to here and then it's off here. If I take out a whole bunch of items... In a chest, we would expect the uh, signal to be shorter now, but in this case, the signal will stay at the exact same spot. Um, this can be used to potentially automate it, uh, but it only shortens or lengthens the signal when the number of slots changes. Um, and as I showed, like if you have the slot completely empty, which now this will be one further back, um, the hopper won't know where to put the item anymore. Um, so you'd want to make sure that that gets automatically filled with the ingredient that you want. Um, so just be aware of that, um, it, but you can read the number of slots occupied um, using a comparator. All right, guys, that'll be it for this relatively short video. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I hope to see you next time.